making it as difficult as possible, um, you know, without fouling, forcing him into some tough shots. But, um, you know, that was uh, that was a key. But uh, but our I thought our whole team, you know, really uh, defended at a high level tonight. Did you did you like Moses in that particular matchup in pregame? You know, kind of a crafty or bigger guard. Yeah, yeah, we um, you know we wanted to to. to to put um, that kind of size uh, on Jalen, um, you know, you, you you really don't want to have a smaller defender on him just because he's so strong and he can kind of bully you in the paint. So M Moses did a good job using his length and his and his size just to try to stay in front of him, uh, in between uh, him and the basket, and he did a, a great job of that. In a row on the road, what's kind of been the key it factor you've seen through those? Well, I just think we're playing with some confidence, you know. Um, I know we've lost some home games during during that stretch, but um, we're um, we're playing with confidence. We're playing better defense. Um, obviously, the night the Knicks were uh, shorthanded tonight. They're going through it right now from an injury standpoint. So we caught them on a night when um, you know they they had to play their their guys a lot of minutes, and um, that's never easy. But um, I just think that. We're, we're, we're playing confidently right now. We got off to a great start, and that, that set a really good tone for the game. What, what have you liked about the way Jonathan has started this trip? Um, I love his, uh, the fact that he's attacking the rim. You know, what was he, 12 for 19, took one three. You know, he should live in the paint. I mean, he's so powerful and explosive. Um, I think he's done a, a great job this this last you know six weeks or so, as he's um, elevated his game and kind of broken through. He's done a great job of attacking the rim and really keeping his focus on on scoring you know in the paint. What have you seen from him on the defensive end? It seems like he's making strides on that end. Yeah, yeah, had a great play uh, early in the game um, when he was um, in the paint on a tricky play where they got the ball in the pocket. I think he blocked um, Hardenstein's pass. It might have been a shot or maybe it was a pass, but um, he kind of poked it away. We got transition out of it. Um, I think one of the best things that uh, Jonathan is doing is um, defending without fouling. He's, uh, he's doing a much better job of that now than he was earlier uh, in the season. And um, he's really you know putting it together. It's fun to watch. What do you attribute the quick start uh, for tonight? Yeah, the start was great. I mean, I think it was what fourteen nothing, um, and they were playing uphill the rest of the way. Uh, we knew they would make their runs. They're a tough team, tough-minded, um, and and you know we're on the road and you know, they made a couple runs. We I think they cut it to five or six a couple times, but uh, I was pleased with the way we responded. How much I guess more meaningful is it that you know you're having these type of road wins, but you're doing it with you know starting your yeah. Yeah, it's it's that that is not lost on me. You know, I mean, I, we're, we're we're interested in winning every game, but also in um, trying to fortify our our future as a franchise. And uh, you know, this is um, you know the, Moses and JK's third year. Um, you know, they're really uh, playing well and coming into their own. And um, you know, this is kind of how. I think how it works in this league. Brandon's probably an outlier, frankly, to come in as a rookie and to start and to play as well as he has. But uh, it's really fun to see the young guys uh, playing at a high level, and then um, you know just the chemistry within the group, the the, the veterans supporting those guys, uh, mentoring them. Um, it's um, it's coming together, and it's fun to watch. Thank you, guys. It's hard. So. Uh... They got out in transition, got easy buckets. Uh, and then, you know, we had a fight out of a big hole, which we ended up doing. But uh, the first five or six minutes obviously weren't our best. But after that, I thought we, we did a pretty good job. And you guys ended up around 37% uh, for the night. What do you think slowed you guys down on that? Uh, you know, they're very good defensively. Uh, so you give them credit, but uh, I thought you know we started slow. Like once we got some easy buckets, that that helped us. It opened up the floor. Uh, and I thought we missed some good looks, you know. And we got to make shots right now. We have to make high volume threes, and we, you know we didn't do that. But uh, and we we were way behind rebounding wise initially, and then we ended up out rebounding them. So the I thought the rebounding effort was good. I thought for the most part the turnovers were good. 
Um, you know, we we didn't make shots the way we would have liked, but I, you know, as long as we're taking the shots that we, you know, that are our shots, right? You can live with that. But uh, you know, the, the start of the game was was slow, but after that, you know, we fought. Yeah, but you know, I mentioned this earlier. He, he has, but if you look at his net rating, the the la and again tonight, I, I probably should have played him more minutes tonight. You know, because he again, he's he's a plus when he's on the floor. And good things are happening, so uh, just keep working. Well, you know, we didn't make shots tonight, so that that that, that was a problem. They they were sagging off him, you know. So uh, and. There's things that we can do, you know, in terms of dribble handoff type stuff, because if you're sagging, the quick dribble handoff is going to create an open shot in the pocket for you. So that's what we have to lock into more of. I thought the times that we did that when we played out of the pocket, we created good shots for each other, and that's what we have to continue to do. The one, the one advantage that we have is that the rebounding component was, you know, when you're playing big, that's what you get. You have that's where your advantage is the the offensive rebounding, but we have to force the yeah, defense to collapse. It's read and react. It's you know like so again if if, if you're sagging off, you can't both sag and be up on a dribble handoff. So if you're sagging off, if you if you make a quick decision that the person's going to be way down and that a shooter is going to get a wide open shot off that. So. Uh, you know, we've gotten Dante a lot of threes that way. You know, we can we can do more because I think our bigs are are very good at playing out of the pocket as well. With, with Alec, um, you said his net rating has been good since he got it. Yeah, the last three games. What um, what, what, what what is he doing that maybe not showing up a lot? Well, I think the the one thing it, it does give you spacing because of the, of you know, people know that he can shoot. And then he's he's very good in a pick and roll game, and so it gives you a second pick and roll to, uh, player on the floor. Um, you know, so uh, sometimes we, you know we all tend to measure uh, on you know what, what a guy shoots, but there's other things that he's bringing, and just being on the floor to create space. Sometimes that that's what you need is the space, and when you get that, now you know, Jalen can drive to the basket or Deuce can drive to the basket, so. Uh, you know, it, that's why we liked him. We we know he's you know he's going to shoot threes at a pretty high clip, and so I think if you sometimes if you tend to look at it in a you know a game or two, it, you know you're not going to get the true picture. And we just talked about that. Like Curry just went through a stretch where he wasn't making, but you know, and he's arguably the best shooter ever. And it's, it's part of the game, so you, you you deal with missed shots. As long as you're working on your shots, you know you live with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same. Like it, in, in the thing is, you know that's where you, you know you're missing, you know a second primary scorer. You know a, a, a guy like Julius is going to command two on the ball, so that creates easy opportunities for for others. You know, but we have to. You know, we're more than capable. Uh, just trust the pass. Like I said, like after the the first quarter, we ended up being down 12, and then after that, it was it was pretty good. When uh, Josh plays 47, yeah. are you guys in a dialogue during the game? Like that, that's you know, it's a lot. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and he's you know I'm always talking to him, so uh, you know he, he's handled it well. Uh, obviously, you know, we're shorthanded right now, so that's what's required. But he's, you know, 18 rebounds, seven assists, and, you know, he's he's a great defender. So we need him right now. Is that just the case of Josh's own losses? Okay. Pardon? Is that just the case of Josh's own Well, it, it's, it's also matchups, so they're downsizing, and then that group actually got into a pretty good rhythm and Jericho gave us really good minutes as well. And we were real small, you know, Deuce was with that group, uh, but they were rebounding. And, that, and that's what I, you know, the one thing about uh, Josh is that when you downsize, he gives you that rebounding component. And that's that's one of the things, when you look at Golden State, you know, with Draymond at the center, 
you know, most most times when you downsize, you you lose your defense and your rebounding, and you know obviously Golden State that doesn't happen with Draymond. That's what makes him unique. And same thing with Josh, when you put him at the four, every you know initially everyone was worried about the rebounding. Rebounding has been terrific all season long. You know, good. You know, like just uh, he, you know, they're loaded up pretty good on him. You know, so just keep trusting the game, and you know, shoot your shots. That's you know, that's what I want him to do. He can't shoot enough. Uh, open, let it go. He's going to be open a split second. Probably be a little more aggressive in transition because that's when the floor is spaced a little bit more for him. But you know, I thought he, I thought he was very good. Yeah, he's put a lot of work in. Like, you know, I say it's all our guys. Uh, you know, I, I see what you do before practice, then in practice, then after practice. And as long as you're working on your shots, uh, if you're if you're open, I want you to let it go. Yep.